So are you considering the possibility of adding a multi-purpose bar to your collection? Well, then this video just may be for you because today we're taking a look at one of my favorite multi-purpose bars, the American Barbell California Bar. Let's do it. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Adam and this is the Garage Gym Lab. If you're new to the channel, I make videos right here on YouTube about gym equipment reviews and home gym tips and advice. So if you're into that sort of thing, I definitely encourage you to subscribe below so that you can follow along. Today guys, we are looking at the American Barbell California Bar. This is their very popular Cerakote multi-purpose bar. It functions awesome, it looks awesome, and it's priced really competitively. So let's check it out. So before I get into the review of the bar itself, there are a few things that I wanna point out about Cerakote. By the way, American Barbell is really the pioneer and the driving force behind this whole Cerakote frenzy on barbells. So thanks to them, we do have a lot more options these days. When it comes to Cerakote, there are two primary advantages that I see. The first and probably the most well-known is that it does offer excellent corrosion resistance qualities. This makes it a very popular option for garage gyms or other human environments. Now there is some debate around whether or not it's better or worse than stainless steel, but you can rest assured that both are gonna get the job done very well. The second advantage that I see with Cerakote is that it can be very easily customized. You're seeing a lot of bars these days with different colors, some are even adding logos, and it's really opened up an entire new world in the barbell space. Now this bar comes in a black graphite, or as you can see, a zombie green, which I think looks really badass. And I gotta say, it matches that Garage Gem Lab color scheme very nicely. The downside of Cerakote is that it is an applied coating. So it's going to fill in some of that depth of the neural and it's gonna take away from the overall feel. So you're not gonna get the same raw feel that you would with a bare steel bar or a black oxide bar or a stainless steel bar. It's also gonna come in a little bit more on the expensive side. It is typically less than a stainless steel bar, but it's certainly more expensive than the other barbell finishes. With that said, the California bar is absolutely awesome. It's one of the best multi-purpose bars that I've personally used. It has a great spec profile and it has one feature that I'll explain in the review that I greatly prefer over the competition. So let's take a look at those specs and then we'll break this baby down. The bar weighs in at 20 kilograms. It has a 28 millimeter Cerakote shaft and a tensile strength of 190,000. It offers dual neural marks and no center neural. The total length of the bar is 86 and three quarters inches, and it has a loadable sleeve length of nearly 16.4 inches. There's a few things that I love about this bar, but my favorite feature by far is the 28 millimeter shaft. Now, a lot of the other multi-purpose bars out there, like the popular Rogue Ohio bar and the new Texas All-American bar have 28 and a half millimeter shafts. So if you're used to using a 29 millimeter power bar shaft, this is actually gonna make a pretty big difference to you. This diameter creates a really nice whip on the bar and it makes it really fun to deadlift with. Now I do pull hook grip, so it actually makes a really big difference for me. And while I wouldn't use it regularly in my deadlift training, it's a hell of a lot of fun, and I do think that there is some merit to having a whippy bar in deadlift overload training. The neural on this bar, like other American barbell bars, is on the mild to moderate side. This neural is flat, it has a very shallow cut, but because of the number of physical touch points on the bar, it does create a very nice 
and sticky grip. As I mentioned earlier, there is no center knurl on this bar, which is certainly not uncommon among multi-purpose bars, but if you're not used to it, it may be an adjustment for you. I personally don't use this bar on back squats just because I do prefer having a center knurl, but on front squats, it's an absolute dream. As beautiful as this bar is and as consistent as the coloring is, it just may lead to one of the biggest drawbacks of this bar. Because there's no center knurl and because it's all one color, it does make it a little bit more difficult to line up perfectly when you're getting ready for a squat. With a Rogue Ohio bar, for instance, you don't really have that problem because they put their logo right in the center. American Barbell did not do that, and I personally appreciate the fact they didn't because I do think center logos are a bit tacky, but it is something to consider. It does make it a little bit more difficult to line up perfectly on a squat. The sleeves on this bar are fantastic. They're silky smooth, which I greatly prefer, and they have those amazing, infamous American Barbell recessed welds that not only function brilliantly, but look absolutely beautiful. They're infinitely cooler than the friction welds that seemingly everybody else uses. And I gotta tell you, I could look at these things all day. And much to my wife's displeasure, I've been known to do that sometimes. The sleeves themselves are operated on a composite bushing system, which does promote a nice, clean, and consistent spin. They spin obviously less than a bearing bar, but certainly more than a power bar. And as I mentioned, it's a very consistent spin. It comes to a nice, gradual stop over time. In my opinion, the end caps on this bar look completely awesome with the American Barbell logo in black and red. They're affixed with a single snap ring, and there's really no lateral or vertical sleeve slop in any capacity on this bar, and that contributes to, again, an overall very nice feel and a quieter experience. As far as how I'm using this bar, I think it's great for high rep and volume work, given the fact the neural is a little bit more mild. It's certainly not gonna tear your hands up, but it's gonna give you a very nice and sticky grip, which in my opinion is a win-win. As I mentioned, deadlifts are so much fun with this bar. You can really use it like a deadlift bar and get some overload training, or you can just use it as a change of pace bar and get away from that 29 millimeter stiff power bar shaft you may be used to. Again, on squats, I'm not really using this bar on back squats because there is no center neural, but because of that smooth center, I do like it on front squats. Ultimately, guys, I think if you're into functional fitness or if you're into general fitness, or maybe you just wanna add a little bit of variety to your training, then this is a really great option. If you're strictly an Olympic lifter, I think you're better served buying a dedicated Olympic bearing bar. If you're strictly a power lifter, I think you're better served buying a stiff 29 millimeter power bar. But again, if you wanna add a little bit more variety, then I think this is one of the best multi-purpose bars out there. This bar is priced at $335, which is very fair for a Cerakote bar. For perspective, the Rogue Ohio bar in Cerakote is $10 cheaper, it's $325. But I prefer this California bar because it has a 28 millimeter shaft and because it has those oh so sexy recessed welds. I think the more difficult decision is actually not between those two bars, but rather between the California bar at $335 and the Rogue Ohio bar in stainless steel at $350. If you prefer stainless steel, I think that extra $15 is at least something to consider. But if we're talking apples to apples or Cerakote to Cerakote, I'm picking this American Barbell California bar every time, personally, over the Rogue Ohio bar. Question of the day, what is your favorite multi-purpose bar? Leave a comment below and let me know. That's it for me today, guys. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, Follow Garage Gym Lab on Instagram for daily inspiration. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you very much, and I will see you on the next video.